it's getting hot in here with all these games. It is getting hot in here with all these games. Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games, and I have a brand new Video Games Monthly box in here. I'm signed up for the 10 random retro games, and they're based upon my collection, so I will not get games that I already own. I have no clue what will be in the box. Let's go ahead and open her up. All right, all right, all right. The box is open. I'm not gonna peek. This will be a surprise to everyone. We have some bubbly bubbles. All right, there's a bunch of games in here. Game one is a Sega Genesis game, and it's actually a game that I like a lot, but I don't have on Sega Genesis for whatever reason. It's Mortal Kombat 3. Awesome. <laughs> game number two, it's a Nintendo game, and this game is Trojan for the NES. It's a game I don't know a ton about, but it's a new game. New games are cool. So far, so good. Next up, we have another NES game, and it's RBI Baseball. I was bound to get a sports game eventually. I did mention I didn't really want a sports game, but you know, one sports game isn't gonna upset me too much. Next game is another NES game, and it is King's Knight for the NES. King's Knight's a game I'm not super familiar with, so I'm excited to check this one out. Don't know if it's good or bad, but I've got it now and it's a new game. I get excited about getting new retro stuff. So far, all these cartridges are in pretty good shape too, which is cool. All right, next up we have an N64 game and it is Perfect Dark. See, when I was a kid, I just didn't ever get into N64, but I am familiar with Perfect Dark series. I don't know if the N64 version's any good, but it's a new game for my N64 collection, which is always cool. All right, next up we have a Sega Genesis game. A Sega Genesis game. And it is Aladdin. Woo! Urgh. This is one of those games I've been meaning to pick up forever, and now I don't have to, thanks to Video Games Monthly. This game I used to play at my buddy's house. He had a Sega Genesis. He had this game, and I always had a lot of fun playing it, but I never owned it myself. So, now I do. Next up, another NES game, and it is. Iron Sword for the NES. Iron Sword is part of the Wizard and Warriors games on the NES. This being, of course, one of the ones I don't own yet. The other Wizard and Warriors game I have, I feel like wasn't that great. So I'm curious to see if this one's any better. All right, so the rest of the games are inside another box. So, so far we've opened one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we have a special video games monthly box with some more games in it. So I'm excited to see what's in here. Let's find out. First up we have a Video Games Monthly koozie. Now that's cool. I love koozies. They keep my Coca-Colas and my root beers nice and cool. Video Games Monthly koozie. Video Games Monthly koozie. Nice. Awesome, 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 awesome. So the next game is Turok for the N64. My N64 collection is pretty bare bones. And uh, Turok's one of those games you definitely want to own if you have an N64. Original Turok was pretty awesome. I'm very curious to see how it's held up over time. A lot of first person shooters are pretty rough nowadays, but Turok for N64 is super cool. All right. We got more. We got, I feel like they might have sent extra games, but I don't know. Next up, we have a Super Nintendo game, and I can tell it's a Super Nintendo game because of the way it feels. But what is it? It is Terminator 2 the arcade game. There she is. Super Nintendo is an awesome system. The Terminator games, uh, most of the ones I played are pretty bad, but sometimes I even enjoy playing bad games just because they're so bad it makes it kind of fun. So I'm curious to see how the Super Nintendo one holds up. Really digging the variety and the different games I've gotten inside this box so far. All right, let's see what's next. I'm not sure what this is. It feels like maybe GameCube or some sort of DVD case. Let's find out. It is the Sonic Mega Collection for the GameCube. As you can see there, so cool. And it came with the box, and it's actually in pretty good shape too. Pretty cool. No manual. No manual. But case is the most important part to me for disc space games. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm signed up for the 10 game box, but I do feel some more games in here. So let's see what they are. Next one's an N64 game, and it is. Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. There she is, the Shadows of the Empire. 
Thanks to Video Games Monthly and Fish, my N64 collection is starting to pick up a bit, so definitely excited to check that out. Uh, a lot of the Star Wars games are pretty decent as far as, you know, movie games go. A lot of movie games are bad, but I've heard Star Wars games on N64 are pretty good. You have to let me know in the comments below if this one's any good. I've never played it. All right, I think we have one more game, and it feels like it's in a generic case. Don't know what to expect. Let's see what it is. All right, so it's a Dreamcast game. It is House of the Dead 2, the Sega All-Stars version. It's gonna be hard to get a good shot of that. It's so shiny and I got my computer monitor on as well. But although it's not a complete Dreamcast game, they've sent me more than I paid for as far as their deal is 10 games for a certain amount of month. They sent me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12 games. So this is kind of just like a little nice little bonus. Dreamcast is awesome. Though I love games being complete. Maybe I could snag a case only version of this on eBay or something. So in this box, I actually got this little card that says, congratulations, you have received two free games. Thank you for being a video games monthly subscriber. It says two up, which is like two extra games, I guess. One thing I've been thinking about for these video games monthly unboxings is would you guys like to see a video of me doing all these games? A nice little video just showing the different games that I got in each box? Or maybe even having once a month a video games monthly live stream where I play all the different games that I got. That could be pretty cool too. Let me know your thoughts on that. We'll do a quick recap of all the games I got for each system right now. <laughs> Alright, for N64, we got Turok, Perfect Dark, Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. For Super Nintendo, we got Terminator 2, the arcade game. For Sega Genesis, we got Mortal Kombat 3, and we got Aladdin. For the Dreamcast, we got House of the Dead 2, Disc Only. Cool game. Sucks it isn't complete, but I get it. For the GameCube, we got the Sana. For the GameCube, we got the Sana. For the GameCube, we got the Sonic Mega Collection. For NES, we got Iron Sword, Wizard and Warriors 2, King's Knight, RBI Baseball, and Trojan. Woo! It's getting hot in here with all these games. It is getting hot in here with all these games. All right, guys, this will conclude this month's Video Games Monthly unboxing. Let me know your thoughts on the games I got this month in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you around.